Uh, the Sun Belt Conference Championship game. Billy Napier goes out a winner. Not bad. 24-16 to 16 over App State is Louisiana, the new champion. The postgame win expectancy was only 52%. Not super surprising that this was a tight game. Uh, Louisiana plays a lot of tight games, but uh, right. as I said on the Bet US show, and as I have said multiple times, Louisiana plays up or down to the level of competition. They do it every weekend. Like it, it, it's, 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 it's insane. So tough. Like I, I, I think I might have lost more money on Louisiana this year than ever any one single team ever is is I could not figure them out. I mean, this is one of those where every time I call heads, it lands on tails. If I switch it up, they lands on head. It didn't matter. This team, they modeled this year of inconsistency. Like it was just yes. weird. It it was it, it, and they I, won I their championship. You, they they played their best football against the best teams. And then That's they right. played like crap and just struggled to get by against Arkansas Barely State. Who only had one win. Teams. Like Louisiana Monroe, they Monroe. Had, yeah, like they they did this over and over. But I, I've seen it for two years with this team. Like I know what they do. This is very much. A, you know what it reminds me of? In can Florida they fans are, bring that to Florida? Well, that's that's I, what I was going to really, say. Really, 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 really need. I really, really, really need that that same attitude in Florida. I, I, it, it, that's what I was going to say. I don't think Florida fans will appreciate this, but this is very much what Jim McElwain used to do, right? Yeah, he, Jim McElwain won three SEC titles, or went to three SEC championships in a row, and got fired. Yeah, because he he messed around he with teams that he didn't win bad enough. Yeah. he 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 dicked around with bad teams, and they won those games. A lot of them. That's how you get to SEC championship games, but they don't cover they don't win big they don't get a lot of publicity because you're in tight games with bad football teams yeah. so they were two and a half point dogs at closing they upset app state 24 16 they won yardage 398 to 290 they won yards it was a play. fun it was a fun like, game play, it was though. it was i it was i had really it on one of the fun. screens it was a it was a good game it was a well-coached game on both sides and it was tight it was a tight was ball game all eyes on the big 12 game but i had it on i was looking over a lot it was it was a good game no, it, it certainly it was. exactly was. what I thought. I think those two teams, with the coaching staffs and the players that they have this season, those two teams might mirror each other more than any conference rival I've seen in a long time. Yes. Yes. Uh, I think they're I think they're put together very much alike. That Louisiana defense, they shut down Chase Bryce. They did not get the turnovers yes. that you would maybe somewhat expect out of Chase Bryce, but uh, held him to 12 out of 30 passing for 119 yards and only one touchdown. Yeah, um, I was about to say, not a lot of points and uh, not a lot of yards, not a lot of first downs. I mean, it was, it was a fight for App. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.